self-care Sunday. So we're gonna do some self-care because we all need a little self-care right now, okay? So go grab a good facial mask, a facial roller. If you don't have a facial roller, go grab a spoon. And yes, I really mean a spoon out of the kitchen. Just make sure it's clean, okay? Um, you're gonna need a cleanser, a toner, a good exfoliator, um, a good facial mask, a good facial oil, and then also some conditioner for your lips, okay? I'm gonna be throwing out some major skin secrets that I've never shared before. So follow along with me as I share my step-by-step -step routine on how to give yourself an amazing facial at home. First step is cleansing. So I do a double cleanse. I don't typically wear any makeup on my face. The only makeup that I actually ever do wear is some eyeshadow and lipstick. So I never actually wear any makeup on my skin, but I do still double cleanse. So the method behind, or the concept behind double cleansing is your first cleanse is to remove all the grime and grit and environmental toxins. Also, whatever is on your face, like your makeup and whatever gunk is there. The second cleanse is to remove anything that's remaining and to really give your skin a deep cleanse. Because if you ever just do one cleanse and then rub a toner over it and your toner is brown afterwards, you haven't removed all the dirt that's on your face. So I always recommend doing a double cleanse. So my two favorite cleansers are these. So this one here is from Face Shop. It's a foaming cleanser. And then this two-in-one gel from Face Envy, which we have available on our online shop. So this is great because it removes all the makeup. So if you wear makeup on your face regularly, this is a great cleanser. And for those of you that don't, this is really nice and gentle and cleans very, very well. So because I'm not wearing any makeup on my face right now, I'm going to use the one from Face Shop, okay? So this is available on our website and then this is available on Face Shop's website. So first wipe your face and get a little bit of cleanser and complete your first cleanse. The purpose of the first cleanse is to remove all of the dirt, grime, and makeup off of your face. And repeat one more time. You will notice that during your second cleanse that your cleanser sets up much more readily as your skin is much, much cleaner after your first cleanse. Okay, so now my face is fully clean and very fresh looking. So I'm gonna put my towel aside and the first thing that we're going to do is we're now, because our face and skin is now clean, we're going to exfoliate all those dead skin cells off. So this is an amazing exfoliator from Face Envy. It's a mousse and it's completely organic and paraben free. It has the most amazing scent to it and a lot of really nutrient extracts, plant extracts in this. So. I only have two of these available online, but this is amazing if you don't have one already at home, okay? And this will last you quite a long time. My other option is the papaya peeling um, exfoliator also. These are both enzymatic exfoliator. They're, they're my favorite because they're not damaging to your skin yet. They really remove a lot of the dead skin cells. So why is exfoliating important? We need to remove all of the dead skin cells I would do a minimum once a week, but twice a week is recommended. So we have to remove the dead skin cells, sorry, dead skin cells off the top layer of our skin so that all of our um, skin agents can really, really penetrate deeply into the skin. At the end of the video, I'm going to list all the products that I used and recommend and where you can buy them, okay? So this one is a brand new bottle and I'm saving these for my lovely clients, so I'm not gonna use this one. And this one's already open, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the papaya. Exfoliator. So you put a generous amount into your hand and then you just kind of rub it all over your skin or your face. And I'm 
gonna share a really amazing tip with you on how to remove even more dead skin cells. So you're just gonna rub, 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 and you'll start to feel all of these bits of dead skin coming off. So I'll show you close up. Can you see these little bits of dead skin on my hand? So you're gonna feel this. So I would do this for about two to five minutes and see how much dead skin you can get off just rubbing your hands, just gentle circles throughout. And it's good to do this over the sink. Now, once you've done this, in about, I'd say two minutes is enough, and you've done enough with your fingers, I'm gonna show you a great big secret tip. So enzymatic facial exfoliators should always be done on dry skin, not wet skin, okay? So make sure your face is completely dry when you're applying the exfoliator. Now that I have massaged and removed as many dead skin cells as possible with my fingers, I'm now gonna go in with a secret weapon, and that is my Clarisonic Cleanser. So this will really, really buff all those dead skin cells off. So if you don't have one of these, I would purchase them because it's a great investment. So here we go, and it's time for two minutes. And I use this completely dry, okay? So you don't wet it. Do it over the sink because you're going to see a ton of dead skin cells start to fall into your sink. I usually do this in the shower. So it's time for your forehead. And then you move on to your T-zone. Wow. Okay, so after I've used the Clarisonic with the exfoliator, my skin looks and feels like baby skin. Can you see how like renewed and flushed and beautiful and pink it is? It literally is so soft and it feels like baby skin. I feel like I don't need anything else. Okay, so let's continue. So we've cleansed and exfoliated, and now the third step is, because our water is very harsh, we need to rebalance the pH of our skin again. So I've mentioned this many times before, but the most important step of your skincare is toner. And this is my favorite toner right now. It's the Eucalyptus Toner by Belief. So you're gonna get a clean cotton pad, apply a generous amount all over your face, okay? So we're rebalancing the pH of your skin. And this is necessary in order for all of our yummy nourishing products to penetrate into our skin. If we don't do this, your skin really doesn't get the benefit of your products. And really saturate every single part of your face. And don't forget your neck. Okay, so now that the toner is done, I'm gonna go grab your facial mask. I'm gonna use a calendula mask today because I just love calendula. It's one of those very soothing, ingredients that are so yummy and amazing for your skin. So this sheet mask is a daily sheet mask and I'll do a tutorial about all the different types of masks that are out in the market and what makes them different. You're gonna apply this on your face. So sheet masks originated in South Korea, which is where I'm from, and they're so popular right now and I'm so glad that North America has got on this bandwagon a facial mask, sheet mask, because they're so beneficial. So I always rub a ton on my neck and chest area because these are areas that are often neglected. Okay, so I'm gonna let the sheet mask sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll carry on. I did this before, these before, but I'm gonna go over them again. So we're just gonna go over the use of the facial roller. So this is the rose quartz. It eliminates toxins through lymph drainage. It also increases blood circulation to improve elasticity. And it deepens the penetration of all of your skincare products. So this is the Love Stone. It's beautiful. It's also 
has a special roll here so it will never get stuck. So you use the bigger portion here for the bigger surfaces of your skin and then the smaller roller um, around your eyes and areas around your mouth. It is a very special roller. It is the Japanese Obsidian Roller. It is made with these special cuts if you can see here. So there's 170 different special cuts in here. So this is really great for sculpting your face and rejuvenating and lifting the skin. So this has a lot more anti-aging properties as the Rose Quartz Roller does. It also um, helps with lymphatic drainage and increasing blood circulation as well. So I'm gonna go over the use of both of these now. Okay, so I've had my facial mask on for about 15 minutes and I now have just taken up my rollers out of the refrigerator. So I store these in the refrigerator to keep them really cold and to give my skin the added benefit because what the cold does is it helps closes up your pores and it kind of shocks your system so that the facial muscles really start to work and tighten, okay? So first I'm just gonna go over with my rose quartz. So I'm just going over my forehead area So you just want to repeat about three times in each area. If you want to, you can go up and down as well. It feels so good because it's so cold. Okay, now on my cheeks, you're rolling up towards your temple. And I'm using my rose quartz first because it has more of a flat end to it. So it really contacts all the smooth surfaces on my face. So I'm just using this to make sure every little inch of my face gets a little massage. Okay, and then I'm just kind of going over around my chin and mouth area. I'm gonna use the smaller end for all the smaller areas around my nose and the eye. So I use this over the facial mask because I really want the facial mask to penetrate deeply into my skin. Okay. Now I wanna do a lot of sculpting and get some anti-aging benefits. So I'm going in with my heavy duty obsidian roller I'm starting at my jawline. I really want to contour my jawline. As I've said many, many times before, I am prone to a double chin. This is genetic in my family. So I'm really spending a lot of time just contouring my jawline here. And I know I said three times on each spot, but I really want to contour. So I'm doing more. And this is great for shaping because it's got this little space here. And the cuts, you really feel the cuts, kind of those grooves digging into your skin. You're not using a lot of pressure, so it's light pressure, but you're really getting a nice massage. And here to contour my cheekbone area, because I've always had a bit of a chubby face. really going to massage the sides to give myself a more shapely 
schnauz. And then just one side of the roller around my lips. And then around the chin area. You can always also use these rollers on any part of your body. It's kind of like a workout if you can't make it to the gym. And I like to do a lot on my neck here. Just up and down. Now that I've done all my rolling, my facial mask is almost completely dry. So I'm going to remove it now. And anything that's remaining, I just like to swipe it all over my neck so my neck gets a lot of serum and love. And now I just pat my face dry. And if you want to, I, sometimes I just give my face an added massage with my fingers. And I like to do this around my jawline with my knuckles. It really helps to sculpt your jawline. This is what the Korean facialists do if you ever go for a Korean facial. You see the difference? Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so all dry. Pat with your fingers. Just give a little stimulation. And now grab your lip conditioner and I love petroleum jelly or just Vaseline. Give your lips some love and nourishment. So this is my final secret weapon after I use my facial mask. So this is a powerhouse facial oil. It's made out of prickly pear. It's very high in vitamins A, B, C, K, and omega-6. So it helps to prevent any inflammation and redness and also to prevent fine lines and wrinkling. It also is great to improve elasticity in the face and helps brighten up your complexion as well. Recommended to use in the night. So I'm gonna put about three drops in my hands, maybe four. And this is also great to reduce darkness around your eyes. It's really amazing. This is a game-changing oil and then helps with pigmentation. So it helps to really even out the skin tone. Oh, it feels so good. It really feels amazing. So this is available on our online shop. It's a new product that I got, but I wanted to share it with you guys during COVID because I know you guys all need some love and nourishment and self-care. And this is seriously a game-changing product and oil. It's so amazing. So. That's your at-home facial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys give yourself some self-love and self-care today. And now, just for fun, I'm going to go over my entire face with the Obsidian Roller once again, just to really allow that prickly pear amazing oil to penetrate deep into my skin. And as promised, I'm listing all the products that I've used and recommended at the end of this video. So number one are the Obsidian and Rose Quartz Rollers, as well as the Face Envy Facial Exfoliator and Cleanser, as well as the Purity Oil and Prickly Pear and Rose Hip, which is recommended for acne prone skin. And all of these are available at our online shop at www.hrhbeauty.com. Just click the shop online button and we will ship these out to your door. I only carry products that I truly believe in and I want to share these all with you. Thanks for watching.